from Lynn Graveson Designs and I just wanted to quickly show you what is in this month's Build Your Own Collection or BYOC from the Lily Pad which was quite a big month for me. I was pretty busy and um, I've been having a great time scrapping myself with uh, the new design so I just wanted to quickly kind of just show you what was in there and uh, see if maybe some of them might uh, pique your interest. So this was actually uh, the, uh, there's actually four things in it. There's the uh, bed and bath elements, sometimes prickly elements, sometimes prickly paper, and sometimes templates. So first of all, the uh, bed and bath elements, which I actually made because I uh, was scrapping my own daughter's toddler photos. I'm kind of slowly working through re-scrapping things. And there's really not a lot out there for bath time, nap time, bedtime and everything like this that I kind of wanted to work with so I decided I will make my own and I had the most fun of all making this rubber ducky which is a completely digital duck waterproof therefore I presume, I don't know would it be? Probably not there you go, uh, also some great transfers, rubber ducky transfers as well and some banners which uh, so you've got a bath time banner and a bedtime banner, which are great for building up pages. And also, oh, and there's another paint transfer as well, which is uh, more of a bedtime one. I'll get rid of my rubber ducky. <laughs> and there's also these teddy bears. And each of the teddy bears comes in a sort of uh, more realistic look like a you know brown a white sticker and a blue painted watercolor sticker as well so they were lots of fun to do Here you go. where's my ducky not wanting to go there you go and also there's uh, quite a few of these useful titles which you can use to um, uh, quickly title a page and each one of them comes in a sort of cork style and also in a white style so that makes it really versatile for use on your pages and I'll just see if I can find I'm just tripping through here and looking yes I have so here's a couple of the bedtime pages that I made using it. Sorry, they're a bit small. I should have used the bigger one. So this is, isn't she adorable? She's so she's. This is using the bedtime banner, one of the teddy bears, and the uh, paint transfer, bedtime paint transfer, which I just simply sort of altered the colour a bit. It's behind, and this is her sneaking a sandwich in bed. And there were bath time photos as well, but uh, I've censored the photos because she'd kill me. Uh, so this is uh, the pages that I made for her album, minus the photos. So she was very cute, that's all you'll just have to imagine. Uh, so it was a, a um, pockets type page and just this one photo page. So that's the bath and bed elements and the other thing that was included or well, one of the other things was uh, a coordinating set of the sometimes prickly elements and the sometimes prickly papers which are eluding me at the moment but never mind I can show you some of the papers here we go so there's a yellow stripe there's some watery raindrops there's cactus I love the striped paper and a floral a kind of messy one, some clouds which I used uh, in my own page, I'll show you later. Uh, a messy kind of painted seeds and this floral here, a very colourful floral page. This uh, page which you can very much use, I'll show you where I've used that one, uh, which I can find it here. So I use this one for a page about my very quickly great great grandmother um, and it was really simple I just put a uh, worn edge photo frame on it popped her on I actually turned one of the titles into just white paper instead of wood 
Um, there's a, one of the paint transfers on the side there, a few little elements, but really the page pretty much makes itself once you've got this, this background here. And then there are some smaller, uh, a few smaller patterns as well in the pack just for, for variety. Get these closed out. And then as you can see in the element pack, there's all sorts in there. There's lots of flowers. Uh, there's lots of phrase tags. There's some titles, which I find really useful just for, um, you know, very quickly creating a page. Sometimes the title is the hardest thing, I find. Uh, so I'm just got some of that. Here we go. So here are the uh, some of the transfers that you get. The this is uh, painted seeds. It's cacti. There's this painted one here, and then this is the banner as well, which is in the pack. And here are some of the poster stamps. I love using poster stamps on pages. I find them a really sort of useful element, go-to element, and so you'll find them in most of my kits uh, and these epoxies as well. And then the last product which was in was the sometimes templates which have got uh, two matted photos each although torn and then also the space here which you can use for it. Here we go. On this page here which is my daughter in France and uh, so I pulled a photo of the town where we were onto that middle photo space, clipped it to it, and then I just used the uh, brightness and contrast tool just to really make it pop because I think if you put a photo onto a blended type clipping mask, you nearly always are going to want to actually alter it a bit to make it look a little bit more arty, to make it sort of just blend in a bit better with the page. So what I did was initially I did the uh, brightness and contrast and then I got my dodge tool and I just softened even further around the edges of it and then I um, put it on multiply. On I clipped it to the mask and then put the clipped photo uh, on multiply blend mode so that it you can see if I could get a bit closer you'll see that it, you can see the paper very subtly under it. And I also use the templates for this page as well which is my mother and my daughter and her dad in the rain at the beach. Um, and you can see that I did a similar thing here where I've clipped the photo to the clipping mask and then I've lightened I've lightened up Port of Brightness Contrast, I lightened it around here and uh, for memory I also I put a little bit of a colour overlay on this corner as well or you could have done it with a dodge tool maybe but really your go-to should always be um, a bright to up the brightness and contrast when you're working with a blended type photo and then to experiment with blend modes onto the paper. Now with this one I put it onto overlay I think it will multiply first but you can see the paper a little bit too much behind it so what I did then is I duplicated it just had it on normal mode but just reduced the opacity so quite often I'll do that I'll have one one copy of the, the photo on uh, one blend mode and then a duplicate of it on top of it either on normal but with just to sort of make the, the overlay this or even on a different one like maybe I'll put one that's on multiply and then I'll put one on top of that which is on overlay or something so just experiment with all the different blend modes and you'll be amazed at all the different sort of looks that you can get so don't just slap the photo onto the clipping mask and then go oh looks a bit dull or it's you know too dark compared to the rest of the page just just play around up the brightness and contrast use your dodge tool around the edges of it and then try putting it on different blend modes and see what happens it's nearly always a surprise, but you nearly always find uh, one effect that you love. And I'm just show you some of my other pages that um, I made with the um, this month's Build Your Own Collection. This is my daughter having had enough of having her photo taken. And this is her when she was a bit littler. I used the cloud paper here and some of the yellow and blue paper. So you can see how different those pages look but they're using the same 